keto, hot keto stuff, whatever, don't forget, we can always hit the soften some up. And if you hit him deep, then maybe I can work. And that usually the need of the pills if he's this close. If he's far away, can you please? If he's far away in a giant to you, he might extend like this. So go to me. So does that knee hit him? Can I reach him if I was here? Okay, and if I do that to his eyeball, can I? Mm. So there's always options, so don't be scared. There's always options. So for you, this could be a reality. I jab him up the center line. And then I can work whatever, just flow and whatever. Your goal is to get off the wall. So if he was tall to you, it might be capturing an eye jab. Okay. And then maybe he falls forward and I give him a knee and I work my own butt off. If a guy like him pins you to the wall, can you please? So now we got, we got uh, a tape. Uh, let's see, let's go over in a position. Over in a position. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to get out of here, but I might be able to move my own hips. So I just wanna show that it's gonna be really hard to push him out of the way. But if I can create an opening, then I can move my own hips out. Okay, so this is just, doesn't matter what technique I'm doing, these are principles and concepts. Apply the principles. You're small, you're skinny. This guy's gonna be able to pin you. If he knows how to cage me in an A fight, he's gonna be able to pin you. Okay, whereas you got the experience out here in the open, the, the, the technical advantage from the body structure, the knees and pumpkins, he's got the, the leverage advantage pinning you against the wall. So you gotta understand the concepts, even not just women's self defense that it's gonna be, I gotta open them up with something, move them a little bit, but you can scoot your own hips out, depending on how good his knee pin, his MMA cage techniques. Uh, all right, uh, Aaron, come back for the throat trip. So, if you can, knee the pillows. Knee the pillows works really good. We can knee the pillows, we can head twist off of this, we, it doesn't matter. You can hit up with a loose head if you know how to do that, and then maybe I knee the pillows, and then maybe I get the thumb lock him up, pinch his elbows in, thumb lock him out, move my butt off. So here's the leverage. Move my butt off, bang, and run. Fight, run, win. So this is a problem. It doesn't happen all the time, except maybe a guy in dating gets out of control and he's abusive. But before I try fancy, always hit. And so it is important to stuff. Can I leverage boxing punches here? That's why it's important to know that kind of stuff, and then I can make it work. Okay, so you have to be able to hit. Like sharply, so I told you it's better to load in me, right? We times up. But if I'm in here, it goes to his pills, boom, boom. I move myself out. I have to rotate my hips. I need to lose. Okay, let me uh, come back here. Now, and then uh, this one's here, so you want to hook at this end. Okay, so again, we talked about he's going to be able to pin you, especially. You better watch about the wall work because you're telling me. Okay, that's where I want to take you. I don't want to fight an open if you have all the And I will drive him in all the time to the corner of the boxing ring or to the cage. Here I can overhook, like wizard overhook here, tight on the overhook. I'm going to work this out his throat. Now I'm going to kick off the wall and rotate around. Now I'm going to pressure up an upward angle. I'm going to ding, 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 ding at the ding at the ding at the ding at the ding. Okay. Animals, dogs fight. When they fight, they hop on top of each other and they bite the throat. I don't care who a big tough guy is in here competing. They don't like their throat being grabbed. So the keto is showing off here. Come out over and over and over here. Okay, so keep the wall. So we're in here. Now I've got to knee him and fight him, but I gotta try and get this arm out and get to his throat. So I see her to his throat after I had to fish that out, and he's holding pretty good. See, see it with that? Tight over the hook, kick on the wall, rotate him around. Now, push him at an upward angle. This is my 45 degree, uh, instead of muscle, this is structural, structural extension. Ding, 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 whatever, okay, and break away. If you're a better kickboxer than he is a grappler, hit him three, four times, 
we don't even get bobbled, put it back up. I hit him with a nice combo because this is a good push. And so we're here, we're gonna fight. So now he's doing good work because he's got the knee pin. That's good cage work. He's bent over a little bit more than he should be, but I can start to play with him. Remember the short hits, guys? That destroys his structure, doesn't it? So I might do something as simple as that to get him here, kick off structure. Ding, try and get out. Ding, 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 try and get out. Go. Okay, but I got like three or four hits in, right? Okay, because I'm, I'm not bent, structural supporting up on the throw. Turn your heels, throw your heels, ding, 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 and break away with some hooks. Maybe a front kick or whatever. To his chin. Okay, so let's just do that one. Overhook and uh, throw grab, turn around. And I want you to practice a couple times against the enemy uh, each other. Okay? Go guys. Okay. 